Howdy howdy, this is Crafty Grinding, and welcome to today's arena cutoff video for Marvel Contest of Champions. Today I'm going to do a quick arena preview for the upcoming Taskmaster and Cable arenas, and also include a little input on the next OG Deadpool arena, because it's still in play, going to be in play for the rest of the month of June, and as long as it's out there, it will continue to impact the other arenas. But anyway, regarding the two new arenas that I'll be joining, or I should say the group of feature arenas and four-star basic arena, First thing, as, as I like to always do, is kind of categorize where I think these arenas will play in terms of similar uh, arena past results. And when it comes to feature arenas, it's usually either an old champ or new champ. Cable, obviously, he's old. He's really old. He's been in the game for quite a while now. And uh, Taskmaster, really, there's just two types of uh, four-star basic champs now, a low interest or high interest. And I just don't think Taskmaster is going to be in high interest, even though this is really one of the first times that he's been um, back into the... Uh, into the arenas um, since being a feature champ months ago um, and then lastly when it comes to OG Deadpool big question <laughs> what we're still learning a lot about his um, arenas we're only in the second uh, instant of it about midway through that second instance still so it's way too early to kind of do any trend analysis to figure out how this plays all we do know though is it will have an impact on these other arenas and um, because these are categorized as low and old, it will probably be the primary arena that people go after again. So could be looking at another 20 million plus for Deadpool third time around. But anyway, now that I've categorized these other two arenas, let's take a look at what we can expect in terms of uh, past, re well not what we can expect, but uh, what some past results for similar arenas was. So um, first of all, let's take a look at that low interest and four new champs basically into the four star basic. So Dr. Octopus, and what I mean by new is that they're new to the four-star basics. Some of these champs that come through in here, they've been in the game for a long, long time. Uh, just, you know, they've been a part of the regular crystals for a while, so a lot of people have been able to get the champs through plenty of other means through the game and don't really need to come through uh, four-star basic arena grinding. But in the case of these handful of champs, specifically Dr. Octopus, Kingpin, and Morningstar, they were just recently added to the, the regular crystals before coming back into the four-star basic arena. And you can see the results are not tremendously high. Now, they're higher than like that that subset low group like uh, that we've seen most recently with, and even Crossbones, to give you an example, that's kind of like the the uh, ceiling for the, the champs that have been in the game for a while and then the floor for these newer type of champs like with Dr. Octopus kind of thing. So anyway, long story short, you can see with even some newer, I'll call, champs that come in as four-star basic champs, um, they don't have the highest level scores, and this is really where I think Taskmaster is going to fall. I don't think he's going to push like a Blade or a uh, Medusa type numbers because those are really um, you know, high-end champs in the game today, whereas Taskmaster, while a decent champ for sure, he's not to that level, and I think he matches closer to like a Morningstar Dr. Octopus in terms of his utility in the game. Now, when it comes to old feature champs, when it comes in the three star arena specifically, you can see it's pretty much uh, black and white. I mean, I mean, the trend is pretty stable here on what you can expect. There's not a lot of variation. This one's pretty easy to kind of predict on what to see here. As for the four star feature arena, kind of the same boat, really. I mean, the highest we've seen was Gambit at 5.6, and uh, the lowest with Nebula and uh, Winter Soldier. But even. Uh, when you take a look at Hulkbuster here most recently, he fell just a little bit above those other ones, but I really think this will be the arena that gets impacted when it comes to four-star cable. I don't see a lot of people pushing numbers, even to that Hulkbuster level. I, I definitely see numbers closer to Nebula and Winter Soldier, and a lot of people spending their time over in that uh, OG Deadpool arena. So again, if, if, this, if, you, if you've been waiting to jump into the OG Deadpool arena, this is not the time to do it. I don't think either the, the third instance or fourth instance when you're going up against Cable and Taskmaster will be the time to go into the arena. When there's a new champ, when Massacre's added uh, fifth time around, that'll probably be the time to jump. But we'll talk about that in a week or so. But anyway, back to this arena preview. What's interesting about this, a five-star feature, even for Hulkbuster, pushed close to 20 million. And actually, in, this, in the second round, his cutoff did go over 20 million. And you can see, for these old champs, Winter Soldier, for an example, a lot of people have them already, but um, but they still push up to 20 million. So it'll be really interesting to see, with this five-star feature this time around, with a... Um, with Cable, if it'll push this high again, very similar. I mean, Hawkbuster. I thought there's no way he'll go that high, but if Hawkbuster goes can go to 19, I really do think that um, that Cable potentially get there as well. So, but 
what is interesting across all of these when it comes to the feature champ there's not a lot of variation even with the five star feature champ so it's not gonna in my opinion it's not this is not kind of where the the drama will be or, or you know where their most variability might be i think it's really in the four star basic and again the deadpool uh, arena so what do you think uh what i love to do uh, as i'm starting to come up with my round one prediction is get the input from the community and what you guys think because at the end of the day it's really us the community that drives these arena cutoff numbers anyway so when it comes to the taskmaster four star basic round one cutoff what do you think it will be and you can see the options there and then for Deadpool OG, what do you think? Are we looking at kind of a little lower number than we saw for the first round? Or are we going to see uh, some skyrocketing numbers, especially given the other arenas that are go it'll be going up against? So anyway, I've created some polls in the community section of my YouTube channel. If you could go check that out and cast your vote, I would greatly appreciate it. If you, while you're there, if you could also jump into the comment section for each poll and put a little context to why you voted that way. That'll really help um, me when I'm doing my uh, round one prediction. And um, also, I might highlight a few of your uh, comments, especially ones that I think that are very related to the story that's uh, kind of firm up, firming up for my actual predictions. And uh, if for whatever reason you, you can find the, the, those polls in the community section or, or if you can't get to them, period, you can go ahead and uh, share your thoughts in the comment sections of this video. So anyway, that's my quick arena cutoff preview for the upcoming cable and taskmaster arenas would uh, if you like this video would really appreciate it if you click that thumbs up button and if you like this and other videos i have on the channel would really appreciate it subscribe thanks a lot for stopping by and have a great day